So what's up guys? It's me again, Jimar Zamoras. For today's vlog, we are going to talk about person with disability on how their condition in and outside the house directly affect our small family as well as be inspired by their parents who raise, take care, and handle their behavior. But first, let us expand our knowledge and understand situation when socializing with people with special needs. A person with disability is described as someone who has physical or mental impairment that significantly limits one or more life activities or their capacity to participate socially or materially with the environment around them. Cognitive, developmental, intellectual, mental, physical, sensory, or combination of factors might cause these disorders or impairments. But let's not focus on their impairments but instead we should focus on their behavior and how to respond and address situations. People with disabilities have the same needs as we all do. They are unique individuals who have wealth of knowledge, skills, talents, interests, and experiences. So for now, we are going to interview a family having a child with autism. His name is Yebi Gisuga, now 16 years old, the fifth son of Mr. Tata and Mrs. Daisy Gisuga. Child with an autism spectrum disorder, which is a developmental disability based on a neurodevelopmental brain related disorder. But despite his condition, he brings joy, motivation, happiness, and love to his family. So let's go. So, um, so guys, today we're going to interview the father of JB Gisuga about the um, parents having a child with um, special needs so our first question would be um, how do you feel by the time that you know your child has a special condition um, like um you know at that time na ay bala ni mga one day si ano si GB special child frustrated kay ko kumo sa sitwasyon na Ako'y bata ng special child, special needs. Hindi nila rin ang mga gasto siya ka sa artistic. Pag, 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 istorya na mo sa doktor niya, katong patsipa na mo sa sasipo. Three years old pa siya. Tura ispina sa Doctora, <laughs> Um, next, um, what activities did your child do every day to enjoy themselves? So maybe, uh, what did you get to do to allow young people to do? Ang iyang hili yun po ay kanang madula sa hindi, hindi na sa kutsong masag madulaan, maligo, ang toys, may iyong umahon, wato na ang tabi ng toys. Hindi kita siya kawad ang play. Gamay ang play, balitan ka na mo. Palipas puras ba? Yung pinaw sa mga mga minutis pala. Hindi yun. Wala ko siya sa cellphone. Ang mga games sa cellphone. Katulog. Tanaw siya mga data sa TV. Next up. How do you handle your child's behavior? Before na naabot ni karong panahon na unay mga seminar sa mga spesyalista sa mga Tak nak spesial ni, di TV. Yang dia gumi guna seminar. Tak nak buat ni ok silingan, nak buat misis, nak buat ok silingan university. Kami itu ni yang dia gula seminar. Insya Allah jila pakai handol. Barang kami maka adjust. Inaan lan sila nga iling sila ibu. Berpak tahun ni. Berpak yang ibu nani ibu sila bang. Ibu nani mau dijadi. May mga dilig maayo, hindi mo rapos na pasapto. Dilig, hindi nga pasapto. Hindi mo rapos na 
ay lupat na asamot sila ka sukto kung sila What advice can you give to those people who discriminate a person with a special need? Kana silang na yung mga binikan na discriminate nila nila mga una mga special child hindi nila maayo kaya kana yung silang mga bata na nasa rights na sila katumot na enjoy po sa privilege sa uban na mga bata kano mali ini sila mas nanginahangla ni sila o pagkagad special needs muna kita wag special needs muna nga dili nimo ihikaw nila kaon suro nimo nimo panahon sa kawas sa tindahan kanang unsay ikahatag nimo sa normal nga bata para po nimo ihatag nimo may mo palabuan magalit nimo ini sila special man ko nila ni sila pagsabot pagkagad special din na pagkakaman Lastly, what can you say to other parents having a special child who needs special care? Kung advice po sa upang ginikanan na kung sila yung anak na special child, kinahangin na nga ilang anak, ilang pachikap yun sa child, behavioral and developmental physician para na Pagkakaan sila ka advice sa mga PPT sa bata, sa mga patasan sa bata ang gawa, sa mga maka-adjust sila ba? Sabot nila, dili nila tago, dili nila nakapulaw na sila ang anak special. Ang may pagaling nila ay kasigaro. Kaya na mo po siya, misis na po na isang special ang mga anak, wala gina mo nag-i-tago sa mga tao ako kini siyang i-expose ako na yung mga activities sa mga pamilya, mga printi, ako kini siyang gato'n. Mas yung ingawan sa gawas, puyo ginamon na siya sa ikin. Yung larga may kita may siyang mga magulang, kahit yung mga magulang na ang mas kagayong mga trabaho, puyo gina siya. Hili na ito, ikangulaw nga ang bata, inanay ang kahimutan. Pag bumot pa na sa kinoo, ato ng gawato, nagato silang pagdaan. Ato man silang anak. Big thanks to the father of JB who is truly a one good example as a parent having a child with special need. It may be hard to accept it at first but in the end we learn how to love, embrace and accept the situation. Everyone should bear in mind not to make fun of people with disabilities regardless of what the disability is. This disability doesn't make them less and do not stop them from being a wonderful human beings. Their disability is just one of the many characteristics they have. Applying disability etiquette promotes good goodwill and respect among people. It helps make society more inclusive and for everyone. When you interact with people with disabilities, we should focus on their abilities, not on their disabilities. Respect and for people with disabilities means not only counteracting continuing discrimination but recognizing their full personhood. So for those who discriminate and bully person with disability, remember that the only true disability is the inability to accept and respect others' differences. So I guess that will be the end of our vlog for today. I hope we learned something on how to handle situations when socializing people with sweet special needs. So always bear in mind that the way to avoid discrimination is having dignity and respect. Thanks for watching.